We bless you, Lord. Let your name be glorified. Teach us again in Jesus' name. Today I will be speaking on not a raven, but a dove. Not a raven, but a dove. And we are going to take our text from Genesis chapter 8, from verse 1 to 18. Now, in verse 1, the word waters symbolizes problems. So, there, the Bible reveals that that God made wind to pass over the earth so that the water will dry off completely. The word earth there symbolizes the life of a man. So the word wind there points to God's intervention. Therefore, until God intervenes into the problems of your life, nothing will change positively. Still in verse 1, note that this intervention from God came because God remembered them. Until God remembers you, you may not recover all. It will take a complete remembrance to recover all. A complete remembrance brings a total recovery. Verse 2. Verse 2 reveals to us that the rain also stopped because God closed the windows of heaven. If God will bless you, then you must open the windows of heaven for those blessings to pour down on you like rain. These heavenly windows can serve many purposes depending on what God desires to see happen. Note that the word windows was pluralized, meaning that they are not one. There is a window that God must open to judge wickedness. And there is another window God will open to reward righteousness. There is a window God will open to judge wickedness. And there is another window God will open to judge, you know. There is a window God will open to judge wickedness. And there is another window God will open to reward righteousness. In verse 2, it was clear that the window God opened was to judge wickedness. So it took the waters 150 days to, co- to, to completely dry up. God gave the earth more problem than it can handle, so that no one will escape. I'm sure that if the water had stayed for three days, some people may probably survive due to their swimming skills. But because God is stronger than men, he gave no room for man to boast. In verse 4, you know, verse 4 shows that even the ark was moving. The ark was moving. It was not the same spot the ark was before the rain that it was after the rain. After the rain, the ark had moved to a mountain called Ararat, where it finally stopped. That your life is hidden in God does not mean you should be stagnant. Move. Don't use God's call as an excuse for your failures. You have no reason to remain stagnant because the ark in which you dwell is moving. If the spirit you receive at conversion cannot, you know, cannot make you experience a movement or a shift, then that spirit is not the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit is a mover. He moves you to move mountains. <laughs> In verse 7, after 40 days that the rain stopped, Noah sent out a bird called Raven. But that bird did not return because there was still water on, this, on the surface of the earth. When your problem persists, you will automatically lose friends. You can see that the raven, the bear that was sent, did not return. It flew away trying to find a better place. Sometimes God made us, you know, to pass through trials and tests in order to choose friends for us. In a hard time, only the strong and godly will remain, while the weak and ungodly will fly away like the raven. In verse 8 to 9, Noah sent forth another bird called Dove. 
This bird flew out, but when it found that the water still persists on the earth, it returned to Noah in the ark. You see that? Not every friend is bad. Not everyone is unreliable. There are still few who are dove and not raven. Now I know the difference between a raven and a dove. Now I know why the Holy Spirit didn't descend on Jesus in form of a raven, but in the form of a dove. Each time you see the Holy Spirit descending like a dove, the message God is passing is, My spirit is reliable and dependable. The dove reveals the reliability and the dependability dimension of God. In verse 10 to 11, Noah sent forth the dove again, and it returned with an olive leaf, showing that everything is now settled. After this, the dove was, was sent out again the third time, and it never returned, which shows that Noah is already spending too much time in the ark. If by any means you lose a friend that is reliable, please check yourself. Sometimes the issue may not be with the person leaving you. You may be the cause. Let's do little mathematics here. The rain fell for 40 days. It took 150 days for the water to dry up. Now, Noah stayed in the ark for yet another seven days. Now, in total, we have 197 days. You can see that from verse 13 to 18. May you receive grace to be patient on God and not be too fast for what God is ready to do in your life in the name of Jesus. This is the wisdom of God. Don't sell it.